Topaz Labs 3.01, as of this recording, is simply the best program to get your wedding pictures fixed up and ready to go, whether the wedding was last week or 60 years ago. And I'll show you why. This is a must-have. All right, in this first photo here, we got a great wedding picture here, bride and her aunt, but it's really noisy and needs to be fixed up. So let's copy the layer and make it a smart object. If you wanna learn how to make smart objects, check out the video up above. Let's go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Photo AI. The autopilot will do its thing. Now, what we want though, is you can tell, we want the photo denoised a bit. I don't want the sharpened and face recovery to go first. So let's add an enhancement and we'll go to denoise and we'll make it in the middle for strong. And now with the slider, before and after. That's incredible. Let's zoom in. Let's check out the background and the ladies before and after. That's amazing stuff. So let's zoom out. Now you can close that, but since we want denoise first, this is one of the new options that's very cool. Take your denoise and drag it up first. I don't want the sharpen second, I want face recovery second. So drag it up. Let's put it in order you want it to work in. Now with face recovery, you can choose all the faces, so I'm gonna make sure this one is not chosen. Hit the X before. After this picture is ready to go for more editing, it's looking great. Now, if you're happy with what you got going and you know you got three or four other photos in the same series, save what you just did as a preset. Another great option. So let's go over to here to save as preset. We'll call it wedding pics. Save. So now anytime you want to drag and drop another picture from the same wedding in the same angle, you can go up to your enhancements and there's wedding pics ready to go. Now, if you've got a picture from a wedding that's more than 60 years old, it still needs a little bit of work and can be worked on really well with Topaz Labs 4OAI 3.01. I'll show you. In this example, what we'll do is we'll copy the layer and make it a smart object again. Now, what I'd like to do is go up to Filter, Topaz Labs, 4OAI. Autopilot will do its thing. Now, once again, it's got sharpen and face recovery here. I don't want it in that order. So let's add an enhancement. Let's add denoise first and put it in the middle on strong. Let's zoom in. And you can tell right away what it's done. You can see all the JPEG stuff and the pixels and everything going on here. Check it out. It cleans it right up for you. That's brilliant. All right, let's zoom out. Now, what I want to do is I want to have the denoise first, so drag it up there. Now, face recovery. You can have as many face recoveries as you want. If somebody's face is in here, needs a little more work than another one, then you can add and subtract them. It's very cool. And add another face recovery and do separate settings for it if you wish. But in this case here, I like everything. It's done for everybody. Let's zoom in, kind of check it out. Everybody in the picture looks just wonderful. Very cool. Okay, zoom out. Now I want to have the sharper and very last phase recovery and denoise. Now, again, if I've got way too many more pictures of the exact same kind of thing, let's save it as a preset. Save it as weddings 1935 or whatever it is. Save. So the next time you bring something up, go to enhancements. Weddings 1935 is there and it'll save you a lot of time. Very cool stuff. Now let's go back to Photoshop. Now if you're getting anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. You won't break any. Here's the bonus tip. Let's kind of zoom out a bit. 
As you can see, the dress here is kind of cut off on the picture, and this side's got a little too much than the other side. So hit C for the crop tool. I'm going to bring this just in on that wall, and I want the wedding dress to be a little more complete. So let's drag this one out just a bit. I want the bride and groom to be in the middle of the pick. Now make sure generative expand is in there. Hit the check mark. What it'll do is it'll go back into Photo AI, make sure everything's cool. Now it'll generate and give us three options. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. Option number one, option number two, and option number three. I'm liking option number one. If you don't like any of them, hit generate again. One, two, three. No, nope, I'm liking the original number one here. Now what we can do is we'll make a stamp visible there. And if you don't like the way things have turned out, something in the background or it's just too much on this side, let's back it off. So let's hit the C key for your crop tool again and just close it off. Make sure it says background, hit the check mark. And now the picture is exactly how you like it. Brilliant, I love this stuff. Well, as you can see, Topaz Labs Photo AI 3.01 is the program, whether a plugin in Photoshop or it's a standalone. It's simply the best for getting your pictures going, especially your wedding pictures. If you're interested in the product, check out my affiliate link in the description. And I hope that bonus Photoshop tip worked for you. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.